We're back. No Flubin vlog. Today we're doing a car review. It's a new series that we're starting. Um, we have my Mini Cooper JCW reinvented by Morgari. We're going to be driving it around, showcasing how useful it is to have a Mini in London um, and what it handles like on B roads down in Surrey. Yeah, I absolutely love this car. So hopefully we can portray that in the video and maybe you guys will want one for yourselves. So we're now coming out of London, which is filled with traffic. Specs wise, this is a 2018 Mini Cooper JCW and it was given to a company called Morgari. So Morgari have an Icon range. They have Icon 1, Icon 2, Icon 3. The Minis, I believe, are Icon 2. And as far as I know, there's only four. I think there's only four. And I believe this is the fourth. They, do, they did a tune, uh, they fiddled with the suspension, obviously some interior has been done as well. So um, they took this car from 250 brake to 280. The suspension is a bit stiffer, so the ride is a little bit better. It's also been dropped in height. The interior has been done, so like these seats are a little bit different. They have like nice stitching and they've got this Icon 2 badge to make you feel special. It's also, this car's a manual, which I think, you know, in a hatch must be a manual, um, in my opinion. I mean, it just makes you feel, you feel more from the car and you're a bit more in control. There's more to do. It's just, it's more fun. It's also front wheel drive, no diff. So there's a lot of torques here and it's light. This thing is very light. So the power to weight ratio, you can really feel it in this thing. It's 1.7 liters, four cylinders, uh, twin turboed. So it packs, packs quite a punch. Zero to 60 is 4.6 seconds, 320 Newton meters of torque, but we're getting into the really technical stuff. Um, I think this car, I wouldn't put any more horsepower in it without having, having, doing, having to do the diff. I think this car is perfect for what I have it for. I do long trips in it. I drove from Belgium to my home here in in, um, in Brentford in one tank, which is pretty impressive. It's a 43 litre tank. Uh, MPG, I think is 32. Right, so those are the specs, the numbers and all that. But what you really want to know is how has this car treated me? So this has been my daily for the last couple of years. It's got 45,000 miles. I've taken this thing everywhere. Motorways, off-road, race tracks, city roads. I mean, this thing has genuinely been places it's not designed to go. I've never had a problem. I've never been stuck, never had any issues. Obviously, it shows up in wear and tear, but all in all, this car is almost almost perfect. And the reason why I say almost is because the one flaw that this car has, which is a pretty big flaw, is that there is absolutely no boot space. There's no boot space. There's also no space to have passengers in the backs. I mean, look at this. I can think of maybe a backpack that would fit in here, but as far as luggage goes, there's just, there's no chance you're going to fit anything in here. And I mean, look, I'll even hop in and I'll show you. Now for reference, I'm six foot. 183 centimeters, and this is what it looks like having a six foot human being in the boot. You couldn't close it if you tried. I mean, look, I'll even show you. This is what you get when you try and close it. So the boot is tiny. So that's the only pitfall I have with this car, which is a pretty big pitfall, especially when you do a lot of traveling. All right, so we're in Surrey on country roads which is where this car truly shines. Now, this car has three modes, green, normal, and sport. And I mean, when you get it in sport, you can really open it up and use all of those four cylinders and 280 rake horsepower. And I mean, on roads like this, it is perfect. I mean, just listen to that. This is when this car is at its best. These kind of roads. So smooth to drive. Power application is insane. No turbo lag. Such a well-balanced car. And it's fantastic on the brakes. So much front as well. The only problem that I have 
with this car being all front wheel with about 280 horsepower all to the front wheels with no split diff or diff of any kind is this thing does have the tendency to torque steer like crazy you know when you're trying to put the power down in a straight line uh, it can be a bit of an issue the other problem with it being a front wheel drive is in the wet conditions um, this thing can be quite lethal through corners because obviously you're just going to go straight with understeer but uh, oversteer is never really something you've got to worry about with this car Right, so those are my thoughts on the Mini Cooper JCW, reinvented by Mulgari. Um, let me know what you think, comment down below. All my links to my other socials will also be there, Instagram, TikTok. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe already, like the video, and um, who knows, maybe we'll do another one of these in the future.